M0 FXB WFU connected to my ICOM 7 300. So there's no Wi Fi connector or Ethernet connector on this device. So currently we're connected via USB and I'm going to show you the, the connection and then I'm going to show you how to activate the server so you can go on your laptop or your other device and control your ICOM 7300 away from your radio using Wi-Fi. So right now we're going to just disconnect from the radio just down here it says disconnect just here so that we can then go into the settings of course, I'll put all the links in to download WFU and thank you very much. This is open source free software. So at the bottom here, you've got settings. OK, now you do need to plug a USB cable into the back of the, the printer style port. So initially via USB, click down here where it says settings or look in your taskbar at the bottom and you'll see the settings window open up here. And then go to radio access and remember we're just doing serial to USB so there it is there really straightforward you just click that select the COM port of the radio that you're using and it normally finds it okay it found mine straight away and gave me the COM number four otherwise just right click on your device manager like so and you'll find it just in your ports on the left look COM4 silicon labs uh, it definitely makes sense to download all your USB drivers for ICOM. Once you've done that, you literally just connect and it will just work straight away. And you can see there, mine has worked. Again, we're connected and we can control the radio. Hopefully you can see that I'm, let me just bring it up a bit. Controlling the radio just there. As I turn, I'm turning the actual VFO here. You've got RF gain, volume next to it. It's just you know, everything you can think of, but that's not what this is about. So how do we then tell it to start sending out Wi-Fi so someone else can connect to it? Now, I found the easiest way to do this, because we need to be able to find the IP address, that's the key thing here for Wi-Fi, is to, if we just go to, let's have a look here, we'll disconnect briefly, then we'll go to settings again, so bring that window back up. Then on the left here, we're going to go down to server. So you've got one, two, third one down. OK. And then here, what you want to do is um, add yourself a username and password. Now, I've just put in M0FXB, like so. All right, S P B E R R Y. And then our password like so and then we can select our audio I'm just going to click the microphone in this laptop and the speaker just here enable the server and then connect to radio now to get your server address I found the best place to look is to go down here where it says log, open up the log and then just scroll back and you'll see that when the server starts it actually gives out an IP address. So if we just quickly clear that, if we go here, clear, then I'll stop and start the server, go back to settings, like so, server and then I'll stop it after we have to disconnect and I'll unenable un it and if we go back to the log UDP server closing UDP server okay that's what it says so now let's start it again back to settings and then we're going to go enable go back to the log and here is where I saw the IP address there it is there it's given me 192.168.0.119 just here I found that the easiest way because that's so crucial that you get that so okay so then what we'll do is we'll just reconnect to the radio and we'll still, we're still connected via USB and then what we're going to do is move over to a computer that is completely not connected to the 7300 so wirelessly Okay, we're all connected. So I will be testing it. I want to set up the mic and all that. 
But I just wanted to show you that you can wirelessly connect to your 7300. Quite simple settings and big thanks to WFU. And if we just scroll here, we can do that. And you can even, if I grab it, let's see if it works. If you plug in your little RC28 and look back in settings, let's quickly find it. External and look, enable USB. So you click setup and then this appears, which is very cool. And it connects. And you know, maybe you have to connect it a couple of times, but hopefully it's connected. And now look, it's actually doing it. Look, if you I'm not only just changing the, you know, so I can have this sat with my laptop anywhere in the house at the moment because it's done with a local IP. And I can use radio. The speaker and the microphone comes from my laptop. And I can play radio, I can leave this downstairs, I can literally go up to bed, take my laptop with me up to bed, and I can play radio, and I've even got a VFO. You can see there, and if I just close the, let's show you what you're gonna see if you're in your room. So let's get rid of the, the radio a minute, like so. And the cool microphone, which I like. And the settings page. And you can see here that I can, and that's even moved me a bit smaller. Like so. And I'm tuning, we've got RF gain here. We've got volume, squelch. We can power it on and off. And that's quite important that you uh, have that, isn't it? If you're away from the house, you've got RIT there. At the bottom, lots of settings at the bottom. You've got bands, you can click bands, select a band, you know, clicking different bands there. Uh, and you can type in the frequency just here, just type it in. So 14.200, enter, and that it. And, and and tuner, enable tuner, transmit. One, two, one, two, of course, you need to select the right microphones and things for that. Otherwise you're gonna have a problem. Hopefully we've uh, not broken anything. So anyway, thank you very much. That's how you, you know, connect wirelessly and uh, to this device, 7.3, all the best. So back at my other computer, there's no cables connected to this computer. We're going to open up the WF view page and look inside settings, which is just here. And now we're going to try and connect not using a USB cable. So if we look just here, we need to get the right password in. Remember it was Raspberry, R-A-S, oops, R-A-S-P, B E R R Y, same user. We've got the IP address. I haven't had to set anything else. So let's hit connect. And we need to get the right one, otherwise, it won't connect. 